we're so polarized and we're so tribal and we only go about with people that vote the same as us think mm. the same as us are you left are you right are you brexiteer you remain dead to, you know are you in my camp or are you the enemy and i think it's really important to listen to opposing views because actually it makes you think oh god what i think i think this but now i've had this conversation do i think differently where did the idea for this series come from um, so the idea came from, it was um, Firecracker Films, who I work for, um, who made this, wants to come up with an idea about families and extraordinary households. And W Channel wanted to work with Stacey. So it was a kind of combination of those two ideas um, came together. And then the idea, rather than putting Stacey sort of going there and staying the week, staying the weekend, staying the night and then going back and staying in a hotel, they came up with the idea that she'd sleep over. So you get all of the kind of intimacy of being a house guest and all the kind of awkwardness and the uncomfortableness of having to stay in a spare room. So it was, yeah. So that therefore the series was born. And so, so Stace, when, when Firecracker first came to you and explained the idea and said, and you actually, you will be staying over, how did you react? I mean, I liked the idea of being totally immersed and I mm. suppose it didn't feel too sort of bizarre to me because you know I've been on location yeah for years and years and years but it does totally change the dynamics you know what I mean like when when you know you've got to have a conversation and they've got to be held to account or you've got to ask something in quite a sort of direct manner you've then got to have dinner with them an hour later or ask them how to work the shower so it really forces you actually as a documentarian to be brave and to be courageous mm -hmm. and you don't need to be unnecessarily confrontational, but just ask the questions instead of sort of running around the corner and doing a piece of the camera, you know, with your director down the road. So it's been a good learning curve for me, actually. It's, um, it's funny, um, and I've only watched uh, the, the first episode of this mm -hmm. series, but it's funny when you first get shown where you're going to sleep. <laughs> you're like, all oh, right, <laughs> this, this tiny box room, is it? <laughs> you know what they There's said? no bed in it. <laughs> what was funny about the um, Tradwife um, episodes was, you know, over the, the course of the weekends, they were renewing their wedding vows. So we all know what goes on when you've, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Of course, yeah. They wanted to have a great time and celebrate. And I was directly next door and the wall was paper thin. I thought, oh, I'm going to have to get some earplugs because I know exactly how this is going to go down. But they were actually, um, they were very quiet. So I can only thank them for that. Very chaste. Yeah, I mean, I think your um, your assessment of quiet sex sort of not really being worth it was yeah. about right. Yeah. It's a bit of a hassle, in it? I thought, I can't be able to do this tomorrow. <laughs> Um, the, uh, the, the first series was one of the most watched shows of the year on, on W uh, when it first aired, which was 2019. Why, why do you think it was so well received? I wonder if it's because it feels quite relatable and, and very ordinary. I think often I'm in um, quite hostile environments and mm. places that people haven't ever really been before or they aren't too familiar with the landscape. Whereas, you know, we've all been to Nottingham, we've all been to Glasgow, we've all been to Essex. So instantly it feels a bit more like, oh, this could be me or this could be my neighbours. Yeah, um, I mean, basically we've all been to weirdos houses. Uh, and uh, <laughs> I've been to some really bizarre households, um, but they're the most interesting places to stay. And then you realise how boring and unrock and roll you are. Um, so yeah, I come home and live my very mundane life. What's the um, uh, can I say Alec? something as well? I think, yeah. um, also, well, what I thought when we were making it is that you do get to see a side of Stacey that you might not see in other programs because she's very, very funny and self deprecating, um, in our series, and there's yeah. a sort of intimacy and a warmth about seeing her getting into bed, which you know, <laughs> I mean, that sounds wrong, that sounds wrong. <laughs> but oh, I know what you mean, though. You know what I mean? You know, brushing her teeth. And I didn't know she was so, I didn't know she was as funny as she is until we started making the series from Tech Girls. I thought she was more, uh, you know, perhaps more earnest. And, I've, and, and that's been something that I've definitely found out from making this series. She's an very, idiot. very likable and charming and funny and warm. And an idiot. And an idiot. Yes. Yeah, that's that's yeah. why we love you, Stace. Um, <laughs> so I think a lot of, uh, the people watching this even would have seen that um, that first episode. So the one where you're with Lillian and 
Felipe, so Lillian's a trad wife. And I found Felipe quite tricky. Um, how how did you how did you keep your cool with it? Because you, you it, it's it's a fine line, and I think you sort of navigated it uh, brilliantly. Like I kind of knew what you thought of him without you necessarily explicitly saying it. Yeah, I think what I try and do Rick, when I'm going into these family homes ultimately I don't take it as a given I don't take it for granted that they're going to allow us in actually that's that's very sort of accommodating and very welcoming of them so I go in with a very open mind and I don't think you have to be shouting and kicking off and rude I I think as long as you're willing to have sort of rational reasonable conversation people don't really mind being being pushed and I mean, Felipe, you know, he, he believes that um, his wife should obey him. And there's a real desire from her as well to, to serve him. You know, it yeah, didn't yeah, yeah, yeah. coincide it at all. And I mean, you know, we fundamentally disagree on most things, but he's not a bad man, you know, and I think it's really, really healthy. And I think that's why I'm so proud of this series. I think particularly now, arguably, we're so polarised and we're so tribal and we only go about with people that vote the same as us, think mm. the same as us. Are you left? Are you right? Are you Brexiteer? You remain dead. You know, are you in my camp or are you the enemy? And I think it's really important to listen to opposing views because actually it makes you think, oh God, what? I think I think this, but now I've had this conversation, do I think differently? I mean, in this instance, I didn't, but, <laughs> but it's good. It's good to do that. But I feel like actually you, you know, you, you state pretty up front at the start of that show that you think that the, those kind of views are, are wildly out, outdated. Yeah. And although your views may not have changed on that, you can sort of feel you warming to them, I think, mm -hmm. I but, see as them. people. Yeah, I see it, Rick. I see them as human beings. I see them as individuals. I see them as people. And really, you know, without sounding like Miss World, we're all flawed and, you know, we all get things wrong or we, we think differently. So for me, it's about going into the house, having these really interesting conversations and then sort of handing all of that information over to the viewer and not giving this sort of conclusive piece to camera at the end, but mm -hmm. just saying that that's, that's what happened this weekend, you know, come to your own thoughts about it. <laughs> And do you think then, Alice, that being open-minded is part of the the success of the show then? That's that's part of the, 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 the key to it, going in with an open mind. Yeah, absolutely. And that's that's um, Stacey's endless curiosity and warmth and charm is what I think makes it what makes it a real success. We do often always, I mean, you often go in and go, I'm going to not like certain aspects of what they do. And what's really, I think what works really well is you always have the challenging conversations. Mm -hmm. along the way it's it, but you're not sort of judging them you're it's a it's a it's a it's a conversation and you know like you said you let them let the viewer make their own mind up about these families I think it's important as well not to try and be point scorey because I think sometimes there's a temptation to do that when you're coming from different perspectives it's like oh well do you think this oh well you said that x you know a couple of hours ago and I, I I don't really think it's about that I think it's just about listening and learning and then what, what you think. Mm -hmm.